This year's CES 2020, LG have come out swinging. LG have seemingly led the way now with their panels, and although we don't have one here in the studio, I do like going into local electronic retailers to check them out because damn, their pictures look good. Although there are several new TVs introduced, the one that's going to be stealing all of the headlines is the brand new LG G1, which is the only new TV in LG's new range to feature their new OLED Evo technology. LG Evo uses a brand new luminance element. What kind of element that is is unknown at this point, but it's said to produce a much higher brightness and clarity level in the overall image without sacrificing color. But it's not just the G1, although impressive, on our radars. The LG C series are also getting a new overhaul too, with the inclusion of the brand new Alpha 9 Gen 4 8K image processor with AI integration. The new processor not only produces some superb upscaling features, but it'll also detect objects in the background in a scene. LG's AI Picture Pro can upscale those independently to ensure you receive the best image quality possible. But it doesn't take into consideration what's on the screen. The LG TVs powered by the A9 chip will also detect room lighting conditions as well as the content genre and apply upscaling based on those conditions as well. There's also a brand new game AI setting coming to LG TVs too, which will enhance your image based on the type of game you're playing. LG have been known to include variable refresh rate technology in their OLED panels in the past, and even have G-Sync and FreeSync compatible screens. So this will definitely be interesting to see in the future. Alongside their game optimizer settings, LG have included a one millisecond response time and low input lag through their HDMI 2.1 connection, which of course, as we all know by now, will support 120 hertz gaming. Now you can expect to find the new C1 TV range in similar sizes as before, being 48, 55, 65, and 77 inch, but they have now included a brand new 83 inch for 2020. The G1 series comes in the same size, although it's a 48 inch instead of the larger 83 inch that consumers have on offer. There is also a brand new A series of the TV coming, but unfortunately they lose out on the new image processor that the G and C series are offering. But it doesn't stop there. LG is also offering what they're calling QNED, which is essentially the QLED tech found in other brands, and it's just LG, I think, being a bit clever with their name. Now, LG's QNED TV will also utilize quantum dot technology to achieve a better color accuracy across the board. So the TV range is fully known as the LG QNED Mini LED TV range, and again, will be found in a number of different sizes from 65 inch to 86 inches. LG has put up to 30,000 tiny LEDs across the back of the television screens with two and a half thousand unique dimming zones, which is pretty unbelievable in itself. This will just ensure that contrast levels are absolutely crisp and black levels the deepest they've ever achieved so far. And it also means that peak brightness for HDR content will be super high as well. Now other features for LG's 2021 TV lineup will include streaming services from both Google Stadia, which is a first, and GeForce Now, both of which will be seen as updates in the future. And you can expect to see them around Q3 to Q4 of this year. And also, uh, a brand new gallery stand. So if you're someone who doesn't have the wall space to mount these extremely skinny tellies, then you can put them on LG's brand new gallery stand. Pricing for that is to be announced, but I can't see them being that cheap, can you? There's also been a newly designed remote to fall in line with a TV's most popular features, being access to smart voice assistants and streaming services. There's also a new NFT panel in the base of the remote in which you can tap your phone against it and it will cast the content from your phone directly to the TV and also vice versa. There's also a new web OS interface that uses AI in a bigger way than before to showcase shows and content that fits your viewing habits and it'll also make recommendations based on what it learns from you. I know LG is releasing a large number of televisions to the market this year. And to give you an idea, their new televisions fall under the Z1, the G1, the C1, the A series, LG QNED mini LED TV, the QNED 99, the QNED 95, the Nano 99 and the Nano 9. It's super complex and super difficult to determine which features are paired with which model of televisions and more information will come. So do keep up with Techno Ovo to find out more. 
but you really have to ask yourself which one is best for you. We haven't seen any confirmation of prices yet, but you've got to wonder if their flagship G1 is going to be expensive, where do the new QNED TV sit? as the features here seem extremely grand as well. With the number of TVs launching, does it mean that the entry-level screens will be cheaper than we've seen before? Now, who knows, but we should find out soon. So thank you very much for checking out our video on LG's new TV releases at CES 2021. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also stick around for more CES 2021 content, as there will be more on the channel over this next week. As I said, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.